are you? <coughs> Gonna start off with some coaching. listening to his song. Okay, we got a call. Hello, hello. Hello, what's up, man? How are you? Whew, how are we? We are very well. And you? Yeah, pretty good. How's my mic volume? Yeah, yeah, wonderful, all good. So, you live in Perth, right? Yeah. How's the weather in Perth? Um, it's pretty cold. How cold are you talking? <laughs> like twenty. Oh, that's that's good. Yeah, but I'm a bit I'm a bit of a winger. I'm a a bit weak. Well, yeah. I mean, if if you if we had grown up in a in like Europe or America, well, then, I grew up in Canada. Oh, really? Yeah. I which thought you wouldn't be a winger then. Nah, it makes me an expert in whinging. Expert. Okay, fair enough. My parents actually just went to Perth for a holiday. Oh yeah, it's a strange place to go to a holiday. Yeah, I know. But they took the train back to Sydney, like whatever that's called. Jeez, your parents sound like a barrel of fun. Yeah. Train Perth. trip. <laughs> okay, so what exactly do you want to work on tonight? A matchup? Mechanics? You mentioned, you mentioned something before. Yeah, I mentioned, I reckon my macro cycle, I don't have a defined one. And especially if I'm uh, microing, my macro falls to shit. Yeah. Uh, maybe I don't build enough production units, but mostly I just miss warping cycles. I think, you know, you probably look at my replays and go, well, I could list another 20 things that you suck at. Well, how about we watch one of your replays? Alright. Um, um, so I just made you leader. Uh, one that I won or lost? Well, up to you. Any, anything decently long, you know? Something that can show a whole variety of things. Not like an early cheese or something. Sure. Well, here it was, my last game, just yep, five that, minutes ago. That's good. Go. So what are you doing in a uh, PvP? Uh, I usually open up Blink. Yep. My weakness is Void Rage, which I think by this level I should have finally figured out, but I still, they still kill me. Which is an interesting weakness to have indeed. <laughs> is it? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we could fix that fucking thing, because I hate it. Um, but yeah, normally I go blink, and I do like playing macro games, so I like to get, uh, um, I'll go blink, and then I, what do I do? I don't usually have a plan. Right, um, how about we watch this on two times? Yeah, dude. Speed? Uh, it doesn't have to be four times. But... Well, I'll just... Yeah, two times is good. Until something happens. Oh, then again. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm just going to be looking at your main build order. The one gate expand is a bit, I mean, risky at higher levels, but I'm sure you can get away with it. I, I yeah, I usually can. Like, yeah. There's not too many rushes. And, well, he's doing the exact same thing anyway. It, it's the platinum meta. The plat meta, yeah. I think it's okay on this map as well. But that is my default build order and I would do it on even Dasan Station, probably. Which is why I've got a beat out. Ballsy, man. Glory, 
Someone's playing Overwatch. Yeah, that's my mate in the background. <laughs> If it's too loud, let me know. No, no, it's ask. all good, it's all good. So we don't have any tech yet. Yeah. And you're floating quite a bit of money. But I've done an incredible <coughs> job harassing. How about that? It's better to have all your stuff down first. Yeah, you're right. I, mean, I know. You only got one kill. <laughs> yeah, but... I've got the skin, so I like to show off the adapt early, just so they know that they're playing with a collector's edition player. Do you, do you build Colossus? Cause the Colossus of course skin, I do. The Colossus <laughs> skin is awesome as well, don't you? It is. So yeah, okay, so... First of all, these things could have been quicker, but that, that's fine, really. Oh, the Robo is decent. I mean, decently timed. Stuff could have been quicker. Yeah, let's put it back on two times, just to squeeze through this quickly. That's good units. Just while I am watching it, um, with Void Rays you really just have to build, like, Stalker Archon. Like, if you know it's coming, then it's usually a lot easier. You might be caught out a, a bit, but Stalker Archon, being aggressive, trying to force, force them to do the charge, mm -hmm. and then like pulling back and then going in, <coughs> Right. So that's the general way you can do it. Uh, these cannons in the main are a bit unnecessary by the way, you only need one. Okay, and put it right in, in the middle though. Put in the, yeah, right in the middle of the mineral line. Mm. It's six minutes. Hmm. Like. I wasn't watching this game, but the next uh, replay I watch, I'll check your pro production as well, because that's a huge thing. Yeah, sure. Um, <coughs> but no, this is good. Depth Ras. But you could be warping in a lot of units. Yeah, you're... I don't think it's so much... like your production cycle, or something mm -hmm. like that. I think you just get a bit distracted when you do... Some oh, absolutely. Yeah, I definitely get distracted. Um, and then, you know, to spend your extra money, money you're building these cannons. When mm. really, you know, you can be doing this harassment, getting, you know, lots of sentries at home with lots of energy, mm -hmm. and then hitting a follow-up push. Um, so you got to think of it as your harassment is really a... a way to get you ahead so that you're bigger follow-up push does even more damage is better. Mm -hmm. So it delays, it gives you time to build sentry, sentry get sentry energy. I don't, that's one thing I definitely neglect in PvP, so I don't build any sentries. Yeah, sentries are really important, especially if you want to do these kinds of pushes. Um, as you go up in the leagues, mm -hmm. you'll run into this where you know, you want to be denying the third base, and they'll have sentries, and you need to have sentries as well. Mm. And it's pretty difficult to micro, but you get used to it. I mean, I really like your harassment, it's really good, but you haven't <coughs> built any units for like the past two minutes. <coughs> yeah. Uh, you, you're just starting Disruptor production now. But, you know, all these cannons could have been units. Yeah. How many so gate one is per. that? Um, uh, who am I looking at this one? Consciousness yeah, I only have four gateways. Yeah, I got another four warping in now, but. Another eight, actually. It's low. Oh, eight? Yeah. Um, so I definitely think you could have been building units a lot earlier. Oh, for sure. And then don't watch this part, this is embarrassing. Did you lose everything to a couple of disruptors? Oh. Oh, uh, DTs. Oh, <laughs> and I just ran my army way out of position. Oh, good shot. Yeah, so I think... No, oh, DTs, rip. A lot of it just comes down to maybe focus a bit less on your on your micro. 
Yeah. And I'll we'll try and think of something. <coughs> a way for you to, you know, do that. Mm-hmm. Um So that you can have a bigger army, and really, you, even at plat level, or definitely at plat level, you can still just win games so easily. When man, that's a lot of DTs. <laughs> <laughs> when you just Plat-level have a bigger army. <coughs> yeah, I think plat's the new gold. Hey, plat's the new gold. Well, um, yeah, high gold is now plat. I think, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you're, you're pretty far ahead. I mean, he's not building units either. He has 3k. Man, I, I just wish you'd warp in the, like more of those DTs in the Arkles. Yes, yes. Happy days. The other thing is that not many people are going stalkers anymore. Oh yeah? Um, it's very adept heavy at the moment, at the higher levels. Okay. Uh, and it's a really strong style. So, I mean, maybe if you're interested in that, I can show you it. Yeah, i never really played that against Protoss, I don't think. Um, <coughs> and you get to practice your harassment, but also macro is very important. So it could be a, a good build for us to, for us to learn, mm-hmm. and then practice a bit, see how your macro goes. So I'm. Can, uh, can you give me back host? Yep. I don't know if I have a a replay. Um, my replays are on Korea. You can switch over there if you want. Yeah, meet in the same channel. Okay. So yeah, the general idea is you're going to be opening two gate now, two gate mm-hmm. expand. It's a much more safer. You can put on some pressure on the opponent as well. Um, and I think learning a new build, getting making sure the timing's really good. I'll write it down for you as well on a notepad document and send it your way. Cool, thanks. Um, just as we're going through like one of my replays, and then practice it a few times. I'll show you a few drills as well that will help you remember to build units, stuff like that, and you can just practice them in custom games. That'd be perfect, because I work away two weeks in a month without internet. So, yeah. Yeah, it, if we can do perfect. offline stuff, that's perfect. Yeah, perfect. You don't even need to do it against an AI, even, like, so... It is perfect stuff to do. Okay, let's see if I have a good replay. Oh, oh they're not even on this account. Oh my god. One sec. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. What's a good PvP that we could watch? I think. Ooh. <coughs> Maybe this one. We'll have a go. We'll see. I played a lot of PvP yesterday, and I really feel I got a handle on it, so. Mm. Hopefully, be able to show you. And a lot of the macro with this build is, you know, just warping in adepts and building immortals. So mm-hmm. it's not too difficult. Uh, also, I was wondering, do you do you just use the standard hotkeys? No, I use the core. Oh, you use the core? Yeah. Which, uh, which version? I don't know, I've got my own sort of bastardized version. Yeah, right, but is it like 1.0, 2.0, 3.0? Like, when did you <laughs> start know. using it? Uh... Around the launch of Legacy, I switched over. So probably 2.0. That's fair mm. enough. I use 1.0. Okay. So, so. I, I understand the core pretty well as well. So if there's any questions about that, I can answer them. 
So yeah, I'll just take you through the build and I'll write it down at the same time. So normal pylon and then gateway. <laughs> I'm I'm the blue player by the way. Oh well I'll quit looking at the record. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> we do the same build anyway, I think. So it's the 14 pylon, 16 gateway, 16 gas, 17 gas, so you go double gas, then you get mm -hmm. another gateway. You put dudes in gas, get your chore. <coughs> then you put your pylon down and you put two more people, like one more, in each gas. Mm -hmm. That's the... Essentially, like, here. So, when your core's finishing up, two minutes. Every single one of my PvPs, this is my build order. Yeah. Every single one. From here, I can choose to go double adept, double stalker, um, I go for a really quick Stargate, stuff like that. You know, just feel free to experiment. Um, in this game, as you'll see, I go two Stalkers <laughs> and Mothership Core when I have the money. There we go. And then Warp Gate. Okay. Okay, so I'll, I'll be writing this down for you as well. I'll send it to you after when we're done. Okay. And what's the idea here? It's get early units to be safe, you also, what do you want to achieve with well, one base? Well, the thing is that one gate expand, mm -hmm. technically you don't have enough uh, photon overcharge anymore. Okay. When they doubled the energy, yeah, it meant that you no longer had three overcharges, or four mm -hmm. overcharges, you had two. And right. so you can't really defend against oracles very well. And Adepts is hard to deal with as well, so you can sort of just fall behind, and you don't want to put yourself in that unnecessary position. You know. Okay. Yeah, so we get a really quick uh, nexus straight after the stalkers, and then add two sentries. During this, I'm also chrono boosting warp gate. Yeah, so I add the robo. Robo is really safe. But yeah, so this is the standard build. I mean, he does snipe a sentry, which is important. <coughs> but he doesn't kill any probes, so we're pretty happy with this. Uh, now I do... Uh... So just a quick question. Yeah, go on. Go on. <laughs> Let's say at my league, yep. at, uh, most people open one gate expand. So what would I want to achieve with one, like opening this way? Would I then just be... Like, I imagine putting pressure on, but what is, am I really trying to achieve with okay, that so pressure? Okay, so if you go scout them doing it, mm -hmm. the smart thing to do, in my opinion, is proxy a Stargate. Okay. Okay. Build mm -hmm. two Adepts. Build four Adepts. Yeah. And just try and harass as much as possible. The Oracle proxy gets there really quickly. You go into the main, as, at the same time you push at the natural with Adepts. And behind it, it's not even all in. You build your nexus. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the idea is, yes, they um, they do. They might not. You might not kill them with the proxy oracle. Mm -hmm. Although at plat in plat, I think you definitely could. Mm -hmm. Um, but you're going to kill so many probes just because they don't have enough units of photon overcharge that you'll get ahead. Because you're also pressuring the front. Because you're pressuring the front, shading everywhere, you know, building oracles, two even, and you're building probes at home. Okay. So that's if cool. you see a one get expand, that's what I suggest you aim towards. <coughs> okay. But yeah, so we get our robo and our third gateway. Warp in two stalkers. Get an immortal. I see that he's actually... I, I saw with my probe on the watchtower that he's sending oracles across, so... I was warping in a few more stalkers. Am I natural? If I didn't see it, I'd probably be warping in sentries. But same thing, really. So you just keep warping in units of these three, three gateways. This would be, you know, good practice to help... make sure you're spending all your money, just because you're building... three units constantly. And that's like century adept. 
So we'll just keep going through this. I get a warp prism. And I do a little push. But because he is ready... It's easy. I, I actually don't commit at all. I just go home, clean up the watchtower a bit, and take a third base. And behind this, if we look at my main base, I'm adding... I'm in my main base? No, in my natural, sorry. I'm adding a forge and a dark shrine. I've also taken my gases. So the idea is you're just going to be massing adept sentry now. Well, massing adepts. When your dark shrine finishes, you'll put on some pressure with a warp prism. <laughs> and morph in morph archons at home. Okay. How many sentries do you want? Uh, I I I lost a few in the early game. Usually I would have five. Okay. Five or four. Guardian shield is massive against adepts. And obviously force fields. Yeah. So this is a good way to play macro now. If if you ever just want to go yolo. <laughs> Just mass adepts and then just like shade on top. Like you can go full YOLO with this build as well. So it's really nice for that. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not building probes because he's being very aggressive. Just massing adepts, massing some DTs to. I see. So it's down there. <laughs> I do lose the third, but you know. Massive clean up of the fight, easy win. From here I just take retake the third. <coughs> Stuff like that. So how does this build build sound? You know, you just work on your macro, mass massing your depths, walking your DTs when you have the chance. And and like you were in your other build, you can still do the adept drop. Yeah. Um, so you got that. Do you get a... What uh, council upgrades do you go for? What, forge upgrades? Or what? Uh, no, council, oh, like twilight. you get... Twilight? Yeah. Yeah, I, I only get glaives. Okay. And I don't rush out the twilight council either. <coughs> you don't actually need it very early. Mm -hmm. Adepts are pretty decent by themselves. Um, <coughs> so that's why I just go 3 gate robo and heal with them. So uh, that's pretty much this game. I just A move through. I have plus two to his plus zero, so it's a pretty easy win. And I'm pretty sure that was Max said, by the way. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. But yeah, how about we we throw you into a custom game? Mm -hmm. And I'll just coach you through the build one time. Awesome. That sounds great. Um... It might be a bit ugly, just, you know, well, first time I ever do a build, it's always ugly, you know. Let's go back to America's A, we want good ping. Let's do it. And after this game, I'll see if I can find you uh, someone to practice against. Okay. Silver League, please. Silver. Make it easy. <laughs> oh, I'll play you. How's that sound? Yeah, sounds great. Just what I was wanting. This is what you wanted. What you wished for Christmas. Okay. <coughs> Right to game. <coughs> okay, let's go. You ready? Mm -hmm.
Yeah, we just go standard. 14 pilot. <coughs> Standard gateway timing. You want to build your second gas. Second gate next. Yeah, when you have money. <coughs> okay, I build it now. Send that other one more probe into the gas. Wonderful. Let's keep probing. <coughs> we build a cybernetics core. Now you're gonna wanna build a pylon. And put guys in gas. <coughs> okay, so this is your last probe. Now two stalkers and a mothership. Sweet. And you want to build another pylon. And Chrono Boost Warp Gate. Sweet. Now you want to start to go take your Nexus. And yeah, scout around a bit with your stalkers. Yeah, that's very nice. Take the nexus. Yeah, and build your sentry. Wonderful. Yep, perfect. And now you want to build another pylon. At this point you might want to, you know, if this was a real game, bring like the stalkers back home a bit, to, like, to your nexus. Uh, okay. <coughs> but, yeah. So, or... Oh, and now centuries. you need a... Uh, no, no, no more units. Now you need a robo. Robo and a gateway. and But keep probing during all of this. Stalkers. So out of that immortal, you're going to build an, an out of that robo, you're going to build an immortal. And then Krona boost that. Yep, wonderful. Two sentries. Maybe even a third century. Wonderful, now you're gonna get a warp prism. Another pylon. There's no need for that gas, but you keep it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you only need two gas for this build. You probably want to build another pylon as well. And then when you want to, well, warp in three depths. Glory to 
Yeah, okay, sweet. So now you're gonna push with the War Prism, build a observer. I'll leave my yeah, army at home. No, yeah, no, t push with the army. Ah, oh, sorry. No, that's with good. the War Prism. With the War Prism. Harassing then, or backing no, no, up no. the army? Warping in units. Okay. So in warping units, and then build a Twilight Council forge and a few more gateways at home. At this point, there's a lot to do. Twilight Forge and like three, four more gateways, but yeah. So at this point, there's a lot to do, and it will take practice to do it. You know, your warp prism has sort of gone a bit off. You need to you need to be warping in units. Yeah. So it takes a lot of it takes a bit of practice getting the build down right. And I think now that you've seen it once in action, it will be a lot easier. And behind this, you want to get plus one and glaives. And start immortal production as well. And take two gases of the natural. So there's a lot to do. But in plat Platinum League, I think even this push would do game ending damage. It would probably win you most games if you just practice this push and then transitioning behind it as well. Yeah, there's quite a few units. And adepts are really good. Um, Probably don't. Sh you probably want to keep your adepts with your army, okay. but you can like threaten to go into the main, and when they pull their units up, like run forward and force field the ramp. Mm. Like there's so much beautiful stuff you can do. <laughs> but yeah, you just have to make sure that you're hitting your adept warp ins all this time. So as you can see, you're floating 1500. Yeah, so it was supply block. Though. Yeah, supply combination of supply block and <coughs> getting things. So I'm hmm. wondering, is there anyone in the stream chat who has, who plays Protoss and is willing to play my student? If not, hmm, what can we do? One thing I'll just mention. Um... We'll talk about building placement just quickly in our PvP. Yep. So you want to be essentially. Um, can you give me? Can you give me host actually? I'm oh, sorry. Oh, you are. Am I? Oh, I am now. Oh, it's not working. Okay. But, oh, that's fine. Um, you want to make like a triangle of pylons around okay. your nexus, so that if an oracle comes in, you can kill it, deal with it very easily. So I'll just show you what that looks like. Ah, oh, we can't watch the replay because it's on an older version. How irritating is that? Yeah, super irritating. <coughs> <coughs> Ola Bola, can you come on Skype? Not Skype. <coughs> come on Battle.net, if you would. Very kindly. Uh, and join probe. Yeah, so I put like like you know where you put your first pylon? Mm -hmm. Uh your second pylon goes on like the opposite position. Yep. And your third pylon goes behind the mineral line. Okay. And and so you just have a like a, a triangle of pylons that will deal with any oracle that comes in, any adepts that come in. Your mineral line's completely safe. Yeah, okay. So what map do you want to play? What's your, what's, what's your preference? Uh NA Ola Bola. What's your preference for maps? Let's go frost. Frost sounds good.
Farrah ult. So I'll just mute my microphone, um, mm -hmm. and you just do the build as best as you can. Remember to, you know, constantly warping your units. Really focus on that and just a move. Okay. <coughs> so when he says ready, we start. Good luck, man. Cheers. He's, he's closing, closing Twitch. So he's not a stream cheater. <laughs> Me neither. Just for the record. Okay, we're just gonna press go. Okay, I'm set as observer though. Oh shit! Oh no, you're you're random. Good luck. So yeah, easy RG84. I'll explain this build a bit. Uh, I'll also... It'll be the build that he's doing, but I'll also write, write down the build. And you can have it after after the game. Freezer. Mm -hmm. You have to wait another six months. Yeah, it's a bit strange that WCS has finished like really early in the year. I'm going to blink how many probes I'm going to have and what is the right time to push. Uh, it depends on the matchup. If you tell me that, I can answer your question. But a general thing is usually blink against Protoss and against Terran is more like a pressure th thing. So you want to be building probes behind it. Two stalkers, mothership core. It's looking good, he needs to add that pile on, find his mineral loan. Don't let me down, man. Don't let me down. I remembered. He's 
just uh, start taking the Nexus. Cheers, that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that it? He's talking to his friend in the background. <laughs> Needs to build a pile on. His robo was a bit late as well, because he went for this third century. Needs pylon, more probes, another gateway. These wall gates finished, he doesn't need to build them anymore. <laughs> Seems like he's sort of freestyling it, but that's pretty cool. That's fine. We'll let that roll. Is he? I wonder if you if he's gonna see. Is he gonna notice? He's actually getting a warp prism. That's cool, I think he'll just do adept warp prism pressure, which is completely fine. Much appreciated, man. I'd like to see some more mortals out of this guy. And it would have been nice if these adepts, you know, paired up with this warp prism and he warps in like two more. That's good, build some immortals. And he's. Oh man, who's red and blue? It looks so awkward. Red, okay. He's spending his money really well this game, so... It's really nice. But we're gonna have to see how, how it does when he does this Adept Pressure, because he tends to fall apart when that happens. So he needs to keep building some Immortals. Build some more Gateways. He has pretty good uh, War Prism Adept Micro. He tends to do really well with it. Doesn't lose the Adepts, which is really nice. But, he needs to be warping in units, man. He needs to be adding gateways. He's going to take a third, but... Well, there goes some four Adepts. Yeah, so usually when I do the build, I get one Immortal, and then Warp Prism, uh, and you do it off, th like, 3 Gate Robo, and yeah, just push with that. So, Ola Bolo is adding a lot of gateways. He has only been on 2, so I guess he's going up to around the same mark, and we just see gateways being added, which is really nice. I like this timing, but we'll see how it goes, eh? If 
He just warps in calmly. Some adepts. Some sentries. He has so much gas. I wish, you know, he could add Templar archives right now. But he's still very new to this stuff. Do you stop probing behind the bush? No. It, well, you stop at like two base saturation. So you do it off two gas here, and so you have like 16 probes on the natural. But then also, you know, build your gases and then build six more probes as you're like pushing. That's the general idea. And also in PvP now with these adept styles, you don't want to probe your thirds anyway. Third bases very much. At least not for a, a long time. So yeah, this is not going to go well. How many gates? You do the pressure of three gateways, and then you go up to seven gates, add a dark shrine, and take a third. Man, I'm so happy that Adepts are winning. So happy. He's floating money, man. This is where a dark shrine would be really useful. Kill them. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. This game is so over, man. Just A move. Yeah, behind it. Be nice to see you. Oh, he's getting armor. I wish he would get plus two attack. Still getting immortals. After this, I'll mention, you know, add, add DTs to it. Makes your grass stronger. Makes your Archon stronger. Because you're only playing, like, a weird gas game, you don't get your these third and fourth gases really early. DTs for Archons are really good. GG, man. Cheers. How did that feel? Uh, it felt good. Like it felt um, pretty straightforward. Like basically mass adapts and yeah, mass adapts, man. Uh, I will mention one cool. thing. Um, mm. Getting like a dark shrine. Like you were struggling to spend oh. your gas, which I'm sure you would have noticed. Yeah. Um, well, no, I don't. That's one of my weaknesses. <laughs> I pretty much never look at my resources. Well, for the most part, once you got on top of it, you were spending your resources quite well. Mm. Um. There was a bit of a weird stage where you need to add the gates a bit quicker mm -hmm. um, and be building units at the same time. Around the time when the war prism was out on the map, mm -hmm. once again. So when you're doing this war prism harass, think yeah. to yourself, I need to be building units back at home, I need to be building buildings back at home. Mm -hmm. So if you can make a mental connection of sorts, like when I move my war prism in, I'm going to check my minerals. Yeah. Uh, and, and you just do this in a custom game a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. And you can do it, like, really forced as well. So you just, like, have a warp prism at the bottom, of the bottom of the map, you look at it, you send it in, and then you specifically look at your minerals and just repeat it, and you do it for five minutes, two minutes even. Mm -hmm. And I think it would uh, uh, make a big difference in your play. Because... I think if once you just get on top of this building unit stuff, mm -hmm. your micro is good, your unit control is good. Um, it, it's better than your macro, I would say. Really? Okay. I, I always figured I was a macro player. <laughs> the thing is, though, like people say they're a macro player. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that you have good macro. Right. <laughs> it just means you want to. No, not so much that. It just means that you'd like to be a bit more defensive, be take a bit longer, build up more units, stuff like that. Mm. Um, and so I'm not saying that you're not a macro player. Right, gotcha. And I'm not saying your macro is bad. Because definitely that game, once you got on top of it, you did quite well. Um, but there's a lot of refinement that you could be doing. So after you play a replay, well, <laughs> a play game... Yep. Go into the replay, mm -hmm. and think to yourself, uh, just watch it, and 
Um, create triggers. Create triggers. But more specifically, just look at what happens in the game. Check your minerals the whole the whole game, right? Mm -hmm. And if it ever goes over 500, you've done something wrong. Oh, that'll well, be a lot. Yeah, that'll be a lot. And don't punish yourself for anything. Mm. Just notice it. Because once you notice that the problem's there, it becomes a lot easier to deal with, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, so, and another thing, like, another thing's to do in replays, you know, click on your 2 next eye, mm -hmm. and just stare at, stare at it the whole game, see if pro production ever stops. Yeah. And if it does, just notice it. Okay. Note it down and say, oh, it stopped, it stopped at this time, and maybe why, why you think it might have stopped. Were you doing a depth pressure? Were you, were you moving some units around the map? Mm. And, you know, thinking about this stuff really helps, like, the same can be done with warp gates. Just click on your warp gates, check the cooldown, because you're, you're only on three gateways for a long time. Yeah. So you want to be building units cons constantly. It's not like you're building no units going up to seven gates and then mass units. Mm -hmm. You're adding them on incrementally, just from three gateways. So you need to be warping in every single time. So just go on a replay, look at when you're warping in, note it down, and why you think it is, and you'll start working and improving it, I, I reckon. Okay. Um, what else should I say? Is there any questions? Well, how about a drill I can do offline? Have you got any ideas there? You mentioned you had an yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, so I got one. Um, so when I send you this build, and you can practice it as well, um, I'll show you what you can do, which is a really good way to practice making sure that while you're doing harassment, your macro still stays on top of it. Which I think is the the biggest thing for you to work on. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, one of the major things. Well, well I, I think it's probably the major thing. Yeah? Because, like... Uh, okay, I'll ask you. What, what do you think maybe you need to work on? Oh, uh, that, like, specifically if I could keep my spending low. Right, yep. No, I, I would sort of... Oh, why'd you leave? No. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Noob. Um, yeah, that's... I've, I've identified that that's uh, a big thing. It's just... If I could hit all my cycles, I'd hit my timings. Or have a bigger army, basically. Yeah, yeah. So that's sort of what I'm getting at. Indeed. Um, and just while we're setting this up, thank you very much to... Ola Bola for playing us cross server. Yeah, so don't leave this time. Promise. So the drill is, you just practice doing the build. So I'll just be doing that exact build we were doing. Mm -hmm. And then with your first scouting probe, this also trains your uh, minimap awareness as well. So it doubles off to that. So yeah, I send the probe out, and I just send it to a, a random base, okay? Mm -hmm. And behind this, I'm making sure that uh, I'm hitting all my buildings. And then when it gets to the base, I send it to another base. I notice it on the, on the mini-map. Okay. So I arrived at a new base, I just do it again. Oh look, my second gas was late, I wasn't paying attention.
send it to a new base. And then, I mean, I don't know, maybe you'll find this difficult, like, when I first did it, it was definitely, like, pretty, pretty damn difficult, right? But if you get good at it, you can move on to two units, but making sure you're hitting your build back at home. And in a non-pressure situation like this, you know, just playing offline, you can spend a lot of your attention just making sure you're macroing without any worries of, you know, screwing up. So I'm actually doing a really bad job of it. But uh, let's, let's knock it up a bit and I'll focus a bit more. So I'll do it with three units. Yeah, I can see why this would be hard. So, and I'm making sure that all my money Staying low. All my timings are being hit. Um, if I if I really go like full concentrate, I can maybe do like five. <laughs> but that it's like pretty difficult. And this is like such a good way to practice your multitasking, right? Because if you imagine this is doing like an adept drop, and back home you bounce back, do your macro, go back to the microing your, your your adepts in the warp prism. So I don't know, maybe this seems a bit silly to you, I don't know. I'd be one interested to see what you think. Yeah, well, it works perfect for me because half the month, two weeks out of the month, I, I don't have internet access really. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, if you get really good at this, you're gonna skyrocket in the leagues. Trust me. So it's, you build a war prism first thing out of the I get an robot. immortal. <laughs> yeah, I get an immortal. And then, um... Ooh, I, supply block. I go immortal and then robo. Uh, war prism, sorry. So, you know, you can practice this build, it It just only takes, um, what is it, uh, six minutes? Just doing this, send probe around the map, make sure your macro is on point, not gonna get supply blocked, finish up with like a push. Get a third behind your push? Uh, no. What what you really want to do is get Twilight and Forge behind your push. Yeah, okay. So yeah, there's the build. Cool. And you just practice sending all your units across the map. Um. Yeah. Awesome. Any final questions before we wrap this up? <coughs> no, I'm I'm happy to leave it there. So I'll. I've got the build. 
written down. Mm -hmm. I'll just finish writing it down. So I'll save this, send it to you over Skype. <coughs> um, PvP build. <coughs> what a very generic name. <laughs> I'll know it. Cool. Awesome. Thanks so much for this, Probe. I think um, I'll definitely be able to take that away. Next time I'll, I'll show off to you. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm happy next time to work on like another matchup. Yeah, I'd like to do some Zerg stuff next time. No, Zerg stuff? Yeah, I, I really like Pros vs Zerg, so... Cool. That's my uh, scariest matchup. Scariest? As in you're really good at it and scary? No, no, no. No. As in uh... I'm terrified of what the hell they're up to. Rip. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate I'll talk it. to you soon. Have just, a good stream. Yep, thank you. Next time, just let me know when, whenever. Awesome. Have a good one. See ya. What a nice guy.